the premiere in Germany was here in Berlin in the Admiral's Palace and uh, it was a house of the famous reviews in the 20s and 30s and that was a right place for us to to bring our show tonight or never on stage by the way my grandmother always spoke about uh, the 20s when she was here as a young lady sitting somewhere on the balcony and now I'm here and sometimes I think about this funny situation and think that maybe my grandmother is still sitting over there. <laughs> the songs may have been written at a time of worldwide economic crisis but the words are always about love and the quest for happiness and that makes them timeless. In early 20s and 30s Berlin a bubbling atmosphere of tolerance and avant-garde prevailed. It was the era of the Weimar Republic, the first democracy in Germany. In architecture, art and music new ground was broken. Names like Marlene Dietrich, Bertolt Brecht and Albert Einstein stood for the blooming culture of this epoch. Artists and musicians from all over the world met in Berlin to exchange their newest ideas. In cabarets and review theaters, like the Admiralspalast, new shows were produced in close sequence. The lyrics of the songs reflected the turbulent times. It was a dance on the volcano. Although this was a period of economic restraint and great poverty, people streamed into the theaters and cinemas, driven by their thirst for everything new. These were the golden twenties, the era of the Weimar Republic. But the delicate planned democracy was crushed by the boots of the Nazis. I would never have dreamed that I would be able to find an audience for this repertoire outside of Germany. If anyone had said to me that one day we would perform at Carnegie Hall in New York, I would have called him a lunatic. That was the greatest experience of our lives. The precision of our choreographed stage performances may have a typical German quality, but our self-irony, our somewhat hyperbolic presentation shows that we don't take ourselves too seriously and the fact that Germans can have a sense of humor is something that the audience outside of Germany does not expect and this is our element of surprise. Most of the songs in our repertoire were created by Jewish composers and songwriters at the time of the Weimar Republic. Many of them perished in the Third Reich, while a few of them managed to escape to the United States via Austria and France. During my concerts I always mention the names of the composers and songwriters whose names at that time were meant to be consigned to oblivion. That matters a great deal to me. It is a late and quiet triumph. Walter Jurman uh, was a composer in Vienna and he wrote, he came to Berlin and wrote here in Berlin a lot of famous uh, songs like Veronika der Lenz ist da or My Gorilla has a villa in the zoo and after 33 he came to Los Angeles and wrote a lot of songs for the Marx Brothers films uh, like uh, A Day at the Races or A Night at the Opera and uh, we have the German songs in our repertoire and the English compositions or the American compositions as well. This music has a very strong and clear character so it does not need words to convey its message to an audience wherever we go. And on top of that, Europe and America have many common roots 
which are very much reflected in our repertoire. Over my shoulder is something between this early German dance band music and uh, swing of uh, in, the, in the American style, something in between, but very wild. <laughs> 